Captain Pete Maverick Mitchell of the United States Navy is still at the rank of test pilot even after 30 years of receiving his Top Gun diploma. His persistent insubordination has and reckless devil-may-care attitude have prevented him from being promoted to the rank of flag officer. Despite his many accomplishments, Admiral Tom Iceman Kazansky, a former Top Gun competitor and current commander of the U.S. Pacific Fleet, frequently defends Maverick. Maverick's hypersonic Dark Star scramjet program is under threat of cancellation by Rear Admiral Chester Hammer Kane in favor of funding unmanned drones. Maverick unilaterally modifies the target speed for the test that day from Mach 9 to the final contract specification of Mach 10 in a last-ditch attempt to rescue the program. The prototype is shattered, though, when he can't help going faster than Mach 10. With his second assignment at the Top Gun School at NAS North Island, Iceman once more rescues Maverick's career, but Kane warns Maverick that the age of crewed fighter aircraft is quickly coming to an end. The Navy has been ordered to shut down an unauthorized uranium enrichment facility before it goes into operation. The facility is hidden in an underground bunker at the mouth of a canyon. Surface-to-air missiles, GPS blockers, fifth-generation Su-57 fighters, and older F-14 Tomcat aircraft all defend it. When Maverick comes up with a plan to use two pairs of F, 18E divided by F Super Hornets equipped with laser-guided bombs. Vice Admiral Bo Cyclone Simpson assigns him the task of training an elite group of Top Gun grads instead of taking part in the attack. Maverick engages in dogfights with his dubious classmates and wins each one, earning their respect. The son of Maverick's deceased best friend and Rio Nick Goose Bradshaw, Lieutenant Bradley Rooster Bradshaw, and Lieutenant Jake Hangman Saracen quarrel over Rooster's cautious flying and Hangman's carefree demeanor. When Maverick sees Penny Benjamin again, he confesses to her that he promised Rooster's dying mother that Rooster wouldn't become a pilot. Unaware of the commitment, Rooster accuses Maverick of being responsible for his father's death and is furious with him for withdrawing his admission to the Naval Academy, which hampered his military career. Maverick is hesitant to continue interfering with Rooster's career, but the other option is to send him on the mission, which is exceedingly risky. He expresses his reservations to Iceman, who suffers from throat cancer that is deadly. The Navy and Rooster both require Maverick, so Iceman counsels him that it's time to let go and reassures him of this. Following a training event in which an F-18 Fahrenheit is lost, Cyclone eliminates Maverick as an instructor after Iceman passes away. Cyclone reduces the mission requirements, making it simpler to carry out but significantly more challenging to escape. Maverick demonstrates that it is possible during Cyclone's announcement by doing an unauthorized flight through the course using his favored parameters. Maverick is named squad captain by Cyclone despite his reluctance. Lead F-18E is flown by Maverick, who is joined by a buddy F-18 Fahrenheit that is being idled by Lt. Natasha Phoenix Trace and WSO Lt. Robert Bob Floyd. Lt. Ruben Payback Fitch and WSO Lt. Mickey Fanboy Garcia make up the second strike duo, which is led by Rooster. The four fighters take off from an aircraft carrier, and as they approach the neighboring airbase, Tomahawk cruise missiles destroy it. As expected, the SAMs commence fire as the teams flee after destroying the plant. When Rooster runs out of options, Maverick gives up his plane to keep him safe. The others are told to return to the carrier because they think Maverick is dead, but when Rooster arrives, he discovers that Maverick ejected at the last second with a Mi-24 assault helicopter hot on Maverick's tail. Rooster takes out the gunship before being shot down by a SAM and ejecting. The two meet up at the devastated airbase and head back into battle commandeering an F-14. Maverick and Rooster destroy two intercepting Su-57 seconds despite their lack of ammo and defenses, but a third Su-57 appears out of nowhere and has the stolen F-14 in its sight, ready to blow them up but the jet is brought down by Hangman, who arrives at the scene just in time to save their skin. Rooster and Maverick are bonding over working on his P-51 Mustang. Penny arrives and reunites with Maverick sharing a beautiful moment before taking off into the horizon. Meanwhile, Rooster examines a picture of their mission's accomplishment that is nailed to a wall near a picture of his deceased father and a young Maverick. 